What's up everyone? Welcome to more Bio Mutant. We are on part 4. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, drop a like and smash the subscribe button. Let's get into this. So, I actually figured out how to spawn my mech. And you have to... You can only spawn them in the dead zone. So I'm finally able to go through the dead zone without being hurt at all. The nice. Grease Monkey's Mechton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? Yeah, it's probably looked a lot better than this. This just looks like an old oil yard. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. Yeah, I cannot get rid of that oil. Yeah, so I was having a little bit of trouble with the mech and all that, and that's why my last part that I just made will kind of be a little weird. Because the top I of the world is so low down here. Wait, besides it's that, the script hole up. The place is just filled with We got like automatic guns on the back. Very cool. Do we have to stay in the back to sneaking around? No, we do not. So he's not attacking me. Gross. This place stinks. Interesting. Ooh, another place. Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. Damn, that's sad. Yeah, you caused your own death. Like, wow. Someone didn't really think that through. Good thing you're not clocked through. Scared of tight places. Oh, idea. What's this? Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you oh, can okay. get up to that entrance there. There we go. Okay, so I was having trouble with this and I didn't know that I had to do that. So now I can actually jump. Are you fucking serious, dude? How far underground do you think you are? Alright, so... I figured it out, you have to pop this lid off, but when I went to go jump up on this, I kind of messed it up, so it might be a little bit of a weird edit, but hopefully I can make, there we go, almost did the same thing I did the first time, but basically the only problem with this game, and this could be just because I'm playing on PS4, which can't wait to get a PS5 and I will be doing an unboxing for that but the loading uh, time is pretty long on the PS4 and it can get quite annoying caught one come here get in my net yeah, you can hide all you want There we go. That was pretty easy. 
Ooh, what's this? I'll take it, but I'm not pronouncing it. Ultimate melee weapon? Alright, now you got me very interested. What to do? I'm gonna pet and keep the creature. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Oh, I messed that up. Bristles like the head yeah, of one electrified. I messed that one up. You need to line up the switches so they match. There we go. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Alright, we can um we can go up the elevator now. Ooh. What is this? Heavy weapon? Interesting. Right, let's Put get back one robot our, foot in front of the other. Just watch where this thing's going. Can't go that way. This reminds this Mac reminds me of a game, but I can't think of the name at all. You know, I'm just gonna fast travel to Gizmo, so it'll be faster. I will. Okay, so I have to get out of the mouth. All right. Um. Alright, so we were back at Gizmo's. And we're going down. They are Okay, so the mech's actually there this time. The first time it was invisible. <laughs> He says that's enough scripts to sustain the Mechton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. It's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mechton's way so you can pass. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The so Mechton will be this strong before, enough to do the saying. job. Hopefully we don't do the same thing he did, which is bad. I'm guessing that's Jumbo. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now, otherwise he fears Ooh, the damage it's caused to the tree up. already will be too much to handle. I thought we might have to get a, uh, another He asks part. you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You'll need the Mechton to do the job, take his word for it. There's time to improve the Mechton before you confront the Puff there are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mechton with on your own. He got well, the that's idea to build the Mechton when he found a big crate containing the metal frame for something Toxanol had named an exoskeleton. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Wishes you goodbye. Level up. 
defeat the Jumbo Puff. Damn, pretty far away. Right, I'm gonna deal with this level up. I'm gonna go with strength. Alrighty. Um. Yeah, let's go for this one. See, where do I have to go? Alright, yeah, I'm definitely gonna fast travel. Listen to the creatures I'm of I'm actually the pretty excited to take on my first world eater. See how difficult it is. Where is my mount? This is, okay, this is a way I can get there. Oh, what was that? I can search this. Yeah, that doesn't really help me, but I'll take it. It's Skypook Outpost. The Ankarty tribe blew life into that ages ago. Yeah, I'm just taking a shortcut. <laughs> Gotta get across this bridge. Okay, that's not a flag for fast travel. Just make my life easier. But we are almost there, so. Good ride long. Tell it, no biting. <laughs> yeah, so I I wonder what this uh, world eater looks like up close. We've only seen a little bit of him. And he looks pretty intense. Yeah, I am not your level. So, can you just not know I'm here? I'm only level 7 and that... Like mini boss was level thirteen. There's so many bridges. So I think I'm gonna head in a different direction because clearly you can't go the way I've been trying to go. Sometimes trying to get to certain locations in this game can be a little confusing. 
but at the same time, they're not. But I believe I found a way down. You found Bionucleus 8C. These towers are one of the main reasons the old oh. world went under. Alright, time to call in my neck. Time to let something else do the walking. Just take out this little creature real quick. That was actually really easy. Luckily, you can just go around like this. But I did not know you could glide. I'm coming to get you, Jumbo Puff. Jumbo Puff powers. Holy shit. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. So he's like a shark. That's a jumbo shark. I saw no shark bear. Let us turn into it before it ends our world. No, you don't. You get away from me. These world eaters are cool. Holy shit. You can keep throwing rocks at it. Heavy metal. I'm not sure. Oh. Jumbo Puff is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. Uh -oh. That's not good. Gotta try my best not to get hurt by that. So this is a really fun fight. I'm honestly glad I pre-ordered this game. Definitely worth the 60 bucks. I believe I said that in part two or part one. If you have not played this game, I definitely recommend checking it out. And I hope you're enjoying the video so far. And if you are, if you've made it through the park, then thank you for watching. It means a lot to me. Yeah, stop on his tongue. Snack time. Oh, I got another thing. What a bad feeling about this. It goes all the way down to the stump. Start like a snack. You okay. end up with I a ride like, down the intestinal that? canal. That's too close to the end station. Look at you, all pooped out. From this point on, there's no way forward, but going back in. What the hell? Okay, that was uh, That's too little close to the end station. Better move up. Up and away. Okay, we so swept out the bowel way. 
Better pump oh. out than flush down. Don't let it happen again. There we go. Wow, what a super sight wow. worm with. That must be as big as they come. You see, it's what's on the inside that comes. Oh, here's his heart. That meaty torus is go. already off beat. Okay, so End we gotta it. do that again. Oh. That's not what I wanted. Come on. Oh, I keep getting hit by this shit. I'm gonna wait. Oh, there we go. The Taurus is pumping a food. Yes, there we go. Go down with a throw up. That was it really interesting. Get any right better than here. that? Wow. Okay then. What are we dragging him behind us? No. We're dragging our mech. Yeah. So my internet went out earlier today. back on now but if I was gonna he stream, thanks that you been for dealing really with upset. the first world eater it's a start you should go see out of date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the ark you're good-hearted enough so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you he trusts you know where to find out of date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. Yes, that is very true. Alright, um... That was a very interesting boss fight. So, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed that boss fight as much as I did. That, that was pretty weird, but... I actually kind of liked how how they went about it so I hope you guys have a fantastic day and if you're still watching to this point thank you and I will catch you on the next one